Hello everyone, my name is Oha Kate. I'm a composer and today we're going to be reacting to Could It Be by Yuki. It's my understanding that Yuki is a member of G-Idol and uh, I'm honestly not familiar with G-Idol at all. And uh, I thought I wasn't familiar with Yuki, but I just checked out her Spotify and I have heard one song by her. It's called Bonnie and Clyde, which is an absolute banger. So I have high hopes for this. The reason I'm reacting to this today is because I just decided to check out what's new and apparently this song just came out. So yeah, I'm excited. We're also going to be doing a lyrical analysis and there's also an extended version of this reaction on my Patreon where I react to a live version also. Um, the live version is the one from about nine months ago with 353,000 views and it's about eight minutes long so I'm very intrigued by that. I guess even though this is a new song she probably has been performing it for a while before releasing the studio version and there's also a link to the live performance itself in the description. But yeah without further ado let's see what she has in store. I already like the look of the colors of this music video. Pretty. Okay, I like this song. It's very cute, very, very poppy, and it really embraces itself as this little moment of happiness, a little pop of joy, a poppy pop of joy. <laughs> I am getting some strong Taylor Swift vibes from this one in particular. I take it that Taylor might be an influence on her or vice versa, who knows? And I am noticing some uh, similarities between this song and Bonnie and Clyde, which is the only other song I've heard from her. And the similarities are that I find the, the driving beat to be similar, um, even though the atmospheres of the songs are quite different. And it's a, it's a distinct style where there's a very driving beat. And then the vocal lines are very striking, very strong. So let me be clear, this is a great song. I'm a big fan of the writing on this song because the vocal melodies are very upfront, direct, and there's a very clear progression from the lower ranged vocals in the verses to the way the vocal melody soars to her higher range in the chorus. It feels very intentional, very well written. I don't know if she writes her own music, but having heard these two songs from her and how similar they sound to each other, I would believe it. Now, it could be possible that she, she has a team who are helping her to curate this sound and she oversees uh, certain aspects of the sound without uh, composing all of the music necessarily. So I'm curious about that. Let me know. But so far, I'm really enjoying this song. Her vocals are so beautiful. She has a beautiful voice. And even if I don't understand all the lyrics, I can hear the emotion in it. Even if it's quite a light pop song, you could probably see from my reaction that I was smiling from ear to ear. And, uh, you know, the, the music video only adds to the fun factor of this song. It's very happy, very colorful, very cute. A lovely breath of fresh air. Yeah, it's, it's uh, nothing overly complicated. It is a simple pop song at the end of the day, but as a pop fan, I live for this kind of stuff. <laughs> there is something striking about this song compared to a lot of songs that attempt a similar style. And I think it could be the driving beat too. Let's keep listening. Just swim, I'll swim, I'll swim on, baby. If 
Yeah, I think I was onto something by by talking about the driving beat, making it a little more distinct because there's, she's playing around with the percussion a lot too and the rhythm, even in the vocal line, there's a lot of but the bum 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 hitting it staccato style to enhance the rhythm. It's not a very boring vocal melody because it's very active. It's giving a lot of, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> And again, some contrast there in the vocal melody. We had the staccato notes, the uh, 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 uh. And then she's contrasting that nicely with the uh, uh, uh. It's like a nice extended uh, line to contrast that. That's the kind of stuff that keeps your ear really engaged. This bridge is really pretty too. It was all a dream. <laughs> We've never seen this before. She's inspired to leave her luxury home for a great adventure. <laughs> Cute. All right. Yeah, that was a sweet, pretty pop song. Again, I love that it has this wholesome vibe uh, in a world where there's a, a lot of cynicism. This was just a sincere little happy bop. And that, of course, is what the world needs. The bridge was really pretty. I also like how the chord progression in this song uh, had some uh, minor chords, sad chords, to add a bit of emotional depth. Uh, the, the one bit of constructive criticism I would have is that the chorus and the hook uh, became a little bit repetitive towards the end, and it's, uh, I did notice some extra harmonies at the end, and I'm not sure if those harmonies were there during the first few choruses. So that might have been a little bit of variation added, but the the song did get a bit repetitive towards the end. I would have liked at least some uh, ad-libs or maybe some extra guitar licks or something. And, and that is an unfortunate trend with some pop music I've noticed is that it's like the artists or the writers are afraid to add too much variation for fear of losing the catchiness uh, in favor of repetitiveness, which is not a philosophy I'm on board with. Uh, so that would be my only main criticism of this track. Uh, but overall, this one did hit me. I do prefer Bonnie and Clyde because I feel like that track had a little bit of a more dark vibe that is more my thing. But I always have space 
for this kind of music and uh, this is definitely going on my playlist for 2024. Let's hop through the music video to talk about the visuals a little bit more. So let's try to get a grasp on the storyline. So she went for a nap in her beautiful house and started dreaming about going on a little excursion, adventure. It's a beautifully shot music video and there's a faint blurriness to everything that gives it that dreamlike quality, which is a nice artistic touch. Man, look at that house. That is a beautiful house. These shots of her biking through the garden are cute. In her jammies. These are some cute shots. She's so pretty, my God. So I guess she's just kind of having a happy day, eating cake, having a little picnic, living her best life. Eating, she's eating a lot. <laughs> I like that. Blowing out some candles. I like her makeup here. I love the, eye, the uh, what do you call that, eyeshadow? I'm not really a, a makeup person. I believe that's eyeshadow, right? The red around her eyes. This music video is really making me crave some snacks. She's constantly eating treats and snacks and I'm here for it. Some beautiful shots. She looks so good with the this teal hair. Stunning, absolutely beautiful look. Got some retro vibes here with the, uh, what do you call those Polaroids? Yeah, fun. It's just basically like a fun day out. And then she wakes up at the end and finds in one reality the box is empty and in the other reality there are candles in the box but which one is real we don't know is it the candles that made her want to leave or the lack of candles i don't understand that at all <laughs> if you could let me know what this music video means i'm all ears i'm very curious yeah but overall the, the artistic direction of the music video and uh, her performance in it, her dancing, her smiling, very much suited the song. They go hand in hand very well. And overall, I'm a fan of this release for sure. Let's check out the lyrics. Don't stress about it, honey. Casual feelings, shimmers of light, tastes just like a daydream, drinking my coffee and so far. I've been unsure of my own emotions. Look and you'll find a real roller coaster, something that people really crave their whole life long. Could it be magic? Because it's more than I can imagine. Seems like a pretty straightforward love song with some nice imagery and wordplay. Shimmers of light, tastes just like a daydream. Been falling for you for a long time. You just swim out, swim out, swim on, baby. But I'm pause here if you don't mind. I can't tell if you want me in the same way. I've been unsure of you because I'm nervous. Look and you'll find my heart on the surface. Something that people really crave their whole life long. Could it be magic? Because it's more than I can imagine. Uh, maybe the song is getting at you seem too good to be true and I'm not sure if I should dive in here because this seems too good. I'm a little bit afraid of getting involved. That's kind of what I'm getting from these lyrics. And I'm sinking into the feeling that we could be so much more. I'm not who I was before. Could it be magic? My world keeps turning. I can't explain it, honey. Only know for sure that I'm all yours. Yeah, so in the end, she takes the chance, uh, even though she fears that it's not real. She's hoping that it's real magic, it's real love. She's taking that chance. She says, only know for sure that I'm all yours. A sweet song, happy message. Of course, even if we've been hurt in the past, we always have to take that leap for love, because love is always worth it. The ups and downs are always worth it. Very cute message, cute song overall, I'm a fan. Okay, time to check out the live version. Again, link in the description to my Patreon if you want to watch the live version with me. Okay, that about wraps up my analysis of Could It Be by Yuki. Please like, subscribe, comment any other Yuki songs you have in mind or any other G Idol songs or songs from any other artist you'd like me to check out. Apart from that, hit the notification bell and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much and take care.